It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Okay, Aries Singles. What do you need to let go of this month? Um, okay. So here's the thing, seeds that you never plant never grow. So if you want to have a long lasting, lifelong, healthy relationship with somebody, you've got to start planting seeds, okay? You might not be talking to anyone right now. Maybe that's coronavirus related. Like I can't meet up with you anyway, so what's the fucking point, right? Um, but you, I mean, unless you're trying, you're not going to have any result. You have to co-create the reality you want. You can manifest all day, vision board all day, the perfect partner, but they're not just gonna like knock on your door and be like, hi, I'm your soulmate, the universe sent me, okay? It doesn't work that way. So what are you attracting right now? And they're like, well, actually, here's the thing. You're not really lucky right now. You're not um, manifesting anything right now, and that's the problem, because now is a super uh, awesome time for you to get what you want. The energy that you're putting out there, what it is that you're trying to draw into your field is there for you. And the universe wants to hand it to you. They want to give you, you know, the mate that you desire. So start figuring out what that is, who that is. Um, this right here is like a little worksheet. It's a free download on my um, website. I think there's a link in the description box below. Uh, you don't have to put in an email address or anything like to get it. You just go to the site, download it and do the worksheet so it can help you manifest what it is you want as far as a partner goes. Um, that will help you to pick up the pace and speed up the process. Okay. Now, what is out of your control affecting your love life right now? Uh, in this month and they're just saying well you can't really go anywhere okay and it's killing your vibe <laughs> you know maybe you're the kind of person who goes out and starts conversations with people that you think are cute places and that's how you usually meet people um well that's just not gonna work but they're like look you know get used to the way that things are right now because things are maybe not going to change for a little while unfortunately and so you know that's outside of your control so do what you can um think about what it is that you want and then start planting the seeds in a different way so what is the action that you need to do they're like you need to do this fast if you want a relationship fast if you want to end up in that like dream relationship that you have in your mind um then get to work the sooner you do it the sooner you have it or like the sooner you start thinking about what that would even look like, then the sooner you can manifest it into your life. Because, you know, from now until June 15th, there is this like strong universal energy that wants to support you, that wants to put that person in your life. And it's up to you to plant the seed, to take advantage, to start the process, okay? So if you are coupled, what is it that you need to let go of? 
Um, okay, they're like, so you're not, there's nothing really to let go of right now. You're in a cycle right now that isn't ending anytime soon. Um, it's really hard for you to do a lot of self-care right now within your relationship. Maybe you don't have the distance and the time and the space to do that. Um, maybe a lot of your time goes to your kids or something like that. Maybe you don't have the money to do it. Um, and so, you know, unfortunately, the way that things are, it's going to be really hard um, because, you know, honestly, you kind of need like a vacation, okay? Like you need time away and that's maybe hard to have right now. No, if you're not living and cohabitating with your partner, you know, how is that different? And they're just saying, um, you know, there might not be a lot of enthusiasm right now then for the committed relationship, but the thing is, is you have to think about at the end of the day, what is it that you both want to come from this? Instead of bickering and arguing about little things that don't really matter, um, that's how you're gonna keep the peace. Focus on the big picture. So um, what is it that you're attracting into your relationship right now? And they're saying, um, you're putting the vibes out there that you want to receive lots of love and therefore you might be giving a lot more love to your partner, but there is some sort of an imbalance. So how do we get that to be more balanced so that you know whatever you're giving to your partner, you're getting back or um, you know so that you're giving to your partner as much as they're giving to you. And they're just like saying, you really need to think about, and this is interesting because it's not that different than the singles reading for Aries, Think about exactly what it is that you want. You know, how do you want them to show you love? What does love mean to you? How do you experience it? How are you shown that? What do you want from them? You need to express that to them. You don't seem to have a hard time expressing what it is that you want in the bedroom. So why don't you do that, you know, when it comes to your emotions? What is it that you need? How do you, how do you anticipate that they can help you feel a certain way? They're like, because here's the thing, like, a lot of you might not be super content right now in your marriage or at least as time passes from now until midway through June, but it's not like there's a problem really there. Um, you know, it doesn't mean the relationship needs to end or end in divorce and separation and things like that. For some of you, maybe, but for a lot of you, it's more just about identifying what exactly do I need from them and letting them know because they probably want to give it to you, okay? Um, they just can't read your mind and you might not even be clear on what that means. So how the fuck can you expect them to fulfill that need if you can't even identify what it is, right? I mean, honestly. So figure that out. What's outside of your control? Um, you know, how much work relationships truly are. They can be defeating, right? Especially when there's not a lot of time to you know, sit back and recharge for ourselves. But they're like, you know, anything that we commit to is going to be hard. You know, commitment itself is hard and it's challenging, but like we wouldn't be committed to something that we didn't value. And so that's how you show that it's valuable to you. You just aren't feeling as confident as you usually do. Um, not necessarily about the relationship, but um, about yourself and it might be uh, one of these things where maybe you put on a little bit of weight recently or whatever and it's kind of killing the passion and the sexual aspect for some of the males watching this that have Aries moon um, it might you might be experiencing some ED uh, there's actually some crystals that will help you with that um, I don't think I've made a post about it but the fertility one that looks like this on my blog page will tell you which ones kind of help with that. There's a few of them in there. Um, but anyway, so essentially they're like, you know, it's, it's almost like you're getting to this point where you believe that the way things are the way they're always gonna be. And you have the power to change that, okay? But you have to believe in yourself. You have to like bring your, what's that Justin Timberlake song? I'm bringing sexy back. You have to find your mojo again. Okay, um, so what do you need to take action on in your relationship? And they're just like, look, the seeds we never plant never grow. Same thing that singles had. You know, what do you want it to grow into? What do you want to have happen? If we don't communicate that verbally, if we don't tell them what we want, we can never get that. We can't work as a team to do that. Like if I plant the seed, my partner can water it. They can make sure it has sunshine, but I have to plant it first, okay? so. Those of you who are in complicated situations, they're like, um, 
so other people might be influencing this situation um, aside from you and whoever else is involved here and it's not making you feel super good about yourself okay so that could be somebody um, somebody's mom or sibling or friend or you know somebody outside of the relationship and they're like really though um, you need to decide what actually matters here and what do you want in this situation they're saying you're completely you have all the information that you're ever going to have okay so you know there's no doubt as to what's going on who's saying what whatever even if it, if there's no proof you already know okay the knowing is there you're smart um but it's not making you feel very good about yourself so i guess the good question to ask is why you know, why am I letting this affect my joy? Well, because you had hopes for what it was supposed to be. But sometimes things don't go the way we want them to, right? So what is it that you need to let go of? And they're saying the idea that this will go in the traditional way that I had planned or I had envisioned in my mind. You know, um, sometimes things actually go better then, you know, sometimes God or the universe or whatever has a better plan for us than what we've envisioned. So um, let go of that. They're like, right now you are attracting love and romance, okay? Um, but it is challenging and it's hard to wait for the ship to come in. You know, it's like you can see it, like it's so close. So maybe it's with the person or people that you're involved in, maybe it isn't, but you can sense that it's sitting close. And so it's a little bit frustrating as you're waiting for that to take full um, fruition. So what's out of your control right now? Well, maybe some of you feel like you can't give more to a situation. You know, um, you can't give more time, more energy, more love. But, you know, just making sure that you're open to receive it um, is really all that there is that you can do. They're like, there's, there's not much that you can do right now, unfortunately, except for sit and wait and stay focused on what it is that you want and then be flexible in the way that it comes to you because it might come to you different than you expect, but love is definitely coming, okay? Um, maybe you have it, but maybe it's, um, it's going to be shown, okay? Because it looks like other people want to show you love, so maybe it's going to be shown to you a different way than you anticipated, but it'll be much more meaningful than you expected. So what is it you need to take action on? And they're like, your own feelings of like being weak or unable, like you feel like you don't have much to offer right now. And, but the thing is, is you're not supposed to be offering others very much right now. You're supposed to be receiving all the love that you usually give, okay? So that is your love reading from now until June 15th. I hope it's helpful and I love you so much. See you next month. Oh, 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 oh,